Welcome to Keynote Introduction on Pages Transitions. In this video, we'll take a look at transitions from one page to the next. Let's begin with this deck that was created from an earlier video. And we have six slides, a create a deck, a content page, something with images, a blend, and a blank page. So if we were to play this, this is how it would look. It changes very quickly directly to the image. And what we're trying to get to is a smoother or a different transition. So let's take a look at some of the options we have. We can click the first slide and establish a transition methodology for that. And to do that, we come over to the right to the Animate tab and add an effect. There's a whole slew of effects available, clothesline, confetti, dissolve, drop, etc. So let's pick one of these and see how it looks. If we clicked on clothesline, we have that look. If we chose confetti, that happens. So let's go ahead and make that one slide confetti, and then let's run the deck and see where the confetti kicks in. When we hit play, the first page comes up. When we click to the next page, you have the confetti effect. The next page does not. So when we set the confetti effect on the first page, that's what happens when you click to the second page. Let's take a look at some of the other options available. We've got dissolve. This is the more common one that you see in many, many slides. And then there is drop. It drops down and bounces. And we have a droplet. This is an interesting one. And there are several others we can look at here. Wipe is something you'll see quite often. Let's preview that. Going further down, we'll see that we have flip, spin, and scale. So let's look at the first one, blinds. That's how the slides would change. Color planes. I would encourage you to look at all of these and see which ones you like. I want to show three others. The object cube is interesting. And shimmer is interesting. Now, we can do this one slide at a time. So the first slide, we can actually leave at shimmer. We could go to the second slide and we could say, make that confetti. And we can make the third slide into clothesline. We'll just look at these three as we play them now here. Playing from the beginning, the first slide is here. When we click, it does a shimmer to the second page. When we click again, it does a confetti to the third page. When we click once more, it does the clothesline to the next page. So these are the options. Now, one of the controls you have is when this happens. Let's go back to slide one. This happens only when a click takes place. We could make it automatic. And we could make the second one automatic. We can do this one at a time, or we can select all three of them and then click and make them all automatic. We generally leave the last one on click because this is the last slide and you want the presenter to be able to decide to click and exit out of that slide if they want to. So this slide will stay up till that presenter clicks. So let's go back to the front and run the show. I'm not pressing any keys. It's automatically progressing from one slide to the next. And here we're at the last page, and now we need to click it to exit that. So let's look at some of the things we can control. First of all, there is the duration of the preview. So we run the preview, and, and the uh, shimmer happens pretty quickly. We could make it longer. And let's preview that. It's a much slower shimmer transformation. Let's change that back to three. 
we can also control the interval, the delay before it moves on to the next slide. We'll leave that at 0.5 seconds for now. Now, it's not usual to have a slide go through very different transitions. It can become overpowering and take away from your message. So it's normally useful to have a common theme throughout. So let's select one through five, and let's change the effects into a single approach, such as clothesline. Now when we run the presentation, the, every slide follows the same model. I would recommend that you pick one, with few exceptions, and apply that across the slides for consistency so you don't distract your audience from the actual content. Looking at the options, some of the more common ones are Dissolve, and Wipe. So in this video, we've looked at how we can take a presentation and convert them to have page transitions that follow a model of design that fits with your presentation. So let's do that one more time. We'll select slide one to slide five. We'll do a change option right here. And we'll go ahead and pick the dissolve option. And then for the duration of the option, we'll move that to one second. And now let's go to the first slide and play it. Now we're still running it in automatic mode. So let's go back and change that. Because in most presentations, we do want to be able to speak to the topic. We'll select 1, 2 through 5, and change them all to on click. So we have done this correctly. Every one of these should show on click. And then when you do the presentation, when you play the presentation, you'll be able to see each page and then press enter or, or the mouse click to move to the next slide. And we can see that these are dissolving into each other. And one more time for practice, select all four. We'll select a change one more time. And we'll go ahead and do the wipe. And let's go to the first slide and play it. First slide. And the second slide wipes it away. And again, a wipe. Wipe. That covers transitions of pages. So we have several things we can transition. We can transition each page. And we can also transition each object. Objects would be the table here. This image is chart here. Uh, the text here, etc. And this is something we'll cover in our next video. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.